Hey girl, hey. Guess where I'm at? Just guess where I am. And if you guess correctly, I'm gonna cash up your dollar. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, right now, we are at Target. Now, I know y'all are like, Narcisse, you always at Target. And I know, I am always at Target. But the reason why I'm at Target today is because um, it's the first of the year. Today is January 4th, to be exact. And um, I need to re-up on like all of my hygiene products. So like body wash, I need deodorant, I need all the things, okay? I need all the things. So I had to come to Target and I'm actually going out of town this weekend, so I need to get some travel size stuff. So, yeah, let's go in the Target, grab a couple things, grab a couple things we need, grab a couple things we don't need. Yeah. And it's literally 8.15 right now, y'all. I fell asleep. I was not supposed to be asleep. I was not, but anyways, let's go. First of all, y'all, I'm a fraud, and let me tell you why. Because is it this cold in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, is it this cold to have on a beanie and a, uh, and sweats, eh? Girl, be for real. No, it's like 48 degrees, but still. I had on a hoodie at first, but I felt like I was still kind of cold, but then I changed it in this. Like, anyways. First up, body wash. So, usually my favorite body wash is um, this by Olay. Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter and then B3. I really, really like this one. Um, I have this one, which is almost empty. This is also Olay with B3, but this is a nighttime body wash. And I see they have more. Hmm. But for the winter time, I usually like the coconut and coffee or like fall and winter time. It's like more of a cozier scent. The coconut and coffee from OGX, but obviously they don't have it. My target ain't been targeting lately. I ain't gonna lie to y'all because they don't have nothing. And I mean nothing. Look at all this empty. I mean, come on, Target. Y'all talking about buy four, get a five dollar gift card, but for what? Hmm. I said I was gonna try that Natrium, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go back to my old, faithful, regular shave moisture one. And I have tried the Method ones, but I don't like them, really. Next up is deodorant. Can I tell y'all something? Like, for real, I don't really wear deodorant like that. Like, I don't wear deodorant every day. But for some reason, I feel like my deodorant goes by like that. So I need to buy a new one. And, oh, I have a new lower price. This deodorant that I usually get, it's the Dove Even Tone. And I really feel like it's been helping my pits to like even out. So I also need to pick up some new razors. I need to pick up some new razors. These are the razors that I really like. I really like these. And then there's one, there's a skin cement razor that I have that I need to buy heads for. I don't see it. So we're just gonna grab these. I really like these. I like the moisture strip on it and then I also like no, not those and then I also really like these for you know the hoo ha area these are the cheap ones $2.99 I think I feel like these used to be a dollar what the fuck is inflation if you've seen my shower routine video this is a shaving cream that I use. I get the vanilla scented one. This is the lavender one. With those, um, with those razors I get, you don't really have to use a shaving cream, but 
that's a really good, good one. Obviously, they don't have my kind here, so I'm not gonna get that. And let me see if I can find those skin to mint razor heads. I don't see them. Oh, also, I use um, also I use beet. I have a little bit left, so I'm not gonna grab that today. But yeah, I'm a beet girl too. Period. I don't need any mouthwash, but I wanted to show y'all what kind I've been using. Just in case you're wondering, I've been using the TheraBreath. This is the Sparkle Mint one. I had, I feel like I had another one before this one. I did, I just don't remember which one it was. I wanna say I had this one. I think I had this one. I think I had the Clean Mint, and then now I have this one. But I have a lot of this one, and I'm about to actually fill the rest of it up with peroxide. I saw that tip from a dentist on Tiki Talk. So, I just get these little, for when I travel, I just started getting these uh, toothbrushes. My dentist usually like gives me extra toothbrushes, extra toothpaste, extra mouthwash, stuff like that, like the travel size ones. But I like to get rid of my toothbrushes after I travel now, so I just grab these. They're 99 cents, I'm gonna throw them away, so. And it's actually a soft toothbrush as well is what my dentist told me to use but i don't like that i like the hard ones but anyways i'm grabbing these and then for oral hygiene as well this is the toothpaste that i use it's the colgate optic white um i think it's usually just the regular ones um i think i do have some of this like advanced but it's it's colgate Opt optic white this is what I use to brush with. So I'm not gonna grab it because like I said, I have some at home pro tip. I coupon these, so I get these for super, super cheap. So I, I always have them in bulk and then my dentist gives me a whole bunch of them. So I have the travel sizes, but yeah. Oh yeah, I need this. You know what I also don't understand? How I really don't wear makeup, but I go through makeup wipes like crazy. Like, what's the, what's the tea? I'm hungry, y'all. I am in the travel section now. And for sure, I think what I want to do is get like a small little um, body wash. This is the same small body wash of the one that I have. I feel like I have a little container that I can just fill up, but I'm not sure. So just to be safe, I'm gonna grab this one. Also, I live by this Nivea lotion. I have one of these bottles, um, so, and then I have the bigger bottle, so I'm just gonna refill it. This is, this is bomb, bomb.com. Also, I have a whole skincare routine on my channel, um, so I'll put it up in the cards. Um, but I wanted to show you guys while I was at Target what I use. They don't even have it. So, I've been using the Bioma face cleanser. But they don't have it. And the other one that I used to use by Neutrogena, I haven't seen it in decades. Okay, not literally decades, but it's been a minute. So, they don't have that one either. But yeah, the facial cleanser, oh, this one. Yeah, the facial cleanser that I've been using is the Bioma. And it literally, like, they're out of everything. They're out of so much. So I've been using Bioma products, well, the cleanser, and then a lot of good molecules, the ordinary, cores. I think that's, I think that's it. But like I said, I'll link my, I'm getting hot, y'all. <sighs> okay, I'm pulling this off. <laughs> um... I'll link my skincare routine in the description box and then also in the card so you guys can watch at your own viewing pleasure. So I don't need anything as far as skincare goes. Do need um, an exfoliant. One of my friends has a body scrub brand and I usually only use her products, period. Naked by Nick, but she hasn't restocked yet. I think I'm just gonna go with, oh, is it on sale? 
shut up it's on sale period okay so i'm gonna go with some soap and glory products so the one that i have at home of course they don't have but they have this body polish soap and glory i don't i don't know if it's this one I don't know if it's this one or not, but this one is $6.29. And then Soap and Glory Scrub for Joy is $3.59. Wait a minute. They don't even have that either. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so update. I walked all the way to the little scanny thing, and um, that one was $3.59. This one. It was $3.59. So I'm gonna get both of them because they're usually like $11. The other scrub that I have at home, I think I paid like $10 for that. So I'm buying both of those. Um, but I wanted to say this body wash, I got this one, well not this scent. This is Lavender Cloud. The one that I got was the uh, Bergamot Cedar. Um, I tried this one out and I really like it. It smells good. It's $10.99 and I don't know if it's given $10.99. But I kind of want to try the other scents. <laughs> Let me smell them. Okay, this is the Lavender Cloud. Mm. It's really light. The scents are really light. Like, I don't smell lavender. I just smell clean. This one is the cashmere vanilla one, but it's all nasty. Oh, this one smells good. This was like, this scent was going viral on TikTok. Everybody was getting like the room spray. They all smell good, but like, I don't, I don't. I don't think I'm paying $2.99 this time. Oh, another thing I was gonna tell y'all, usually I don't like the Dr. Bronner's liquid, but when I travel, I do like to get the bar soap. This one is the rose scented one. They got this, they got all the expensive shit. Is this a rose one? Before I get to lying, let me see. Girl, it say rose, biggest day, all one hemp rose. So they have the rose, they have the eucalyptus, they have the citrus, they have the unscented, they have the peppermint, and they have the lavender one. And as far as like the liquid soap, I've tried the lavender and I've tried the peppermint, I believe. Or did I get the rose? I don't know, but I tried it twice and I wouldn't think so, yeah. It's been hours. It's like midnight at this point. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got since um, it got a little hectic in Target and also Target didn't have a lot of things. So just to do like a quick little recap, um, for my oral hygiene, I use, like I told you guys, the Crest um, Optic White Toothpaste and I use the TheraBreath mouthwash i saw somebody say on tiktok you're supposed to like you know use it down and then um like basically fill it back up with peroxide hydrogen peroxide so i'm gonna do that i've used about half of this i guess and then for floss since i have a retainer at the bottom i have to use a special type of floss for the bottom i get that from my dentist and then i just use any other type of floss sometimes i use this regular um this regular like colgate type of floss i have so much like literally let me show y'all oh and i had extra toothbrushes already but oh well it's fine like literally i have this whole bag of um tooth toothpaste i have oh sensodyne is another one that my dentist recommended that i use but i just i don't know i don't like sensodyne <laughs> I don't, I like to not believe that my teeth are sensitive. I have like all, so many types of toothpaste. I mean, literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven. There's like 11 toothpaste in here. So I can brush my teeth for time and time and time again. But I have this and then like I said, I have extra toothbrushes. I always keep extra toothbrushes and stuff like this just in case. Um, I do travel often and you know like if somebody comes over or if I go spend the night somewhere blah 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 
I always have this. So this is like always, always stock. And I go to the dentist every six months on routine because you girl pay for that insurance. So that's that with this. I do want to look into getting a electric toothbrush. So if you guys have an electric toothbrush or you have one that you'd recommend, please leave it down in the comments below. And then as far as skincare goes, like I said, I use the Bioma, I use the Bioma uh, face wash. And I have a full skincare routine, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, but I use a, a face wash, I use a toner, which is actually from Good Molecules, and you can actually pick this up from Ulta. I use my serum, so I'm using a hyaluronic acid serum. So I have the hyaluronic acid serum. I use the Velvet Skin Drink from Kors. I love this, love it. Sometimes I use bio oil. Or I also use this when I'm removing my makeup. I just feel like it helps it break down since this is an, an oil-based cleanser. But I like the bio oil on my skin. I feel like it's helped to smooth out my skin and like still keep it hydrated and not dry uh, because it's winter time. Or is it technically winter yet? Yeah, it's winter time. So yeah, it's technically winter time. So I feel like it's it's helped keep it hydrated and like glowing lately. I've been I just recently used this like a lot within the past couple days and I really like the way that my skin has been looking and then I also use a moisturizer from Good Molecule and then the last few steps in my skincare routine are the Lash and Brow Multi Peptide Serum. I put this on my lashes and my brows and if you guys know I pick at my brows and I pick at my lashes and this has definitely helped them to grow back. So I would recommend this and then lastly I use the Wake Up Eye Gel from good molecules as well like i said my whole skincare routine is already up on my channel and i'll link it for you guys but i just wanted to show you the products because number one target didn't have the stuff and then number two like i just want you guys to see like i do have a routine i do have products that i use and would recommend and all these products i recommend if i don't recommend them i'm gonna tell you so that is my skincare routine and then as far as my body care routine goes i do have a shower routine on my channel too but, um, like I mentioned earlier at Target, this is like my tried and true body wash. I buy this time and time again. I have started trying out other body washes just to kind of see like what I like, what I don't like, if I want something to smell a little bit different. But this, I feel like it keeps me moisturized. I feel like it, it like it's not drying. So I really, really like this and this is like the little mini uh, lotion that I told y'all I had and I just need to like refill it up. So this is body wash, body care. And then I also go in with the Eco Tools exfoliating cloth. I use the Eco Tools exfoliating cloth. And then I also use, and then I also use both of these body conditioners. This one is just a B3. So I, I feel like it matches this one. And this also is a B3 body conditioner, but this one goes with the overnight body wash. So you use it, you know, kind of as a pair. This one has a little bit left and this one is pretty much full so i didn't grab another one of these today and then they also didn't have any more so that's why i didn't grab another one of these but i did want to show you these because these are really essential in i feel like my body care routine and keeping myself moisturized and i feel like i have dry skin or no, i don't feel like i have dry skin i just feel like really i feel like it's my feet like my feet get really dry but that's because my feet are always out i don't like to wear stuff on my feet i don't like socks i don't like shoes i don't like nothing so i'm always barefoot but yeah this works wonders on the body. Naked by Nick. This is my friend's brand and I usually like swear by her scrubs but she hasn't restocked yet so I did grab this smoothie breakfast scrub from Soap and Glory. Years ago I remember hearing like really good things about Soap and Glory so that's what made me like initially want to try out Soap and Glory. I like this but it was it's a smoother exfoliant right and i like some i like rough basically so i like this but i would like it for like maybe like a morning time exfoliant or whatever so i grabbed these two and like i mentioned these were actually on sale at target uh for three dollars and they're normally like 11. and i i remember trying this like touching it whenever i i remember touching this whenever i bought this one from target 
and I just decided against it. But this is actually a body polish and this is a breakfast scrub. So I'm excited to get in the shower and try this out. I'm actually about to get in the shower now and try this out and see how I like it and see if there's a difference. And I'll be sure to let you guys know. But I got both of these because they were on sale for $3. So I was like, let me just stock up because I don't know when she's going to restock. And I, that's like my favorite part of my shower routine is to exfoliate. So yeah. After my shower and everything deodorant i have been using the ordinary glycolic acid toner for my armpits and i feel like i mean right now there's a little stubble but i feel like they've lightened up tremendously like if you go look at my old videos especially when i went to south padre two years ago like i feel like my armpits are really really dark so i feel like they've lightened up a lot thanks to this glycolic acid and people say that like you don't even have to use deodorant if you use this but i just i just feel like you do like i just feel like you should so i still use both of these in combination with each other and i just usually take this and i take a cotton round and i squeeze it on the cotton round and then i just go under my armpits you know both of them and you can use this in other places as well but that's just where i use it as far as like moisturizing when i'm out the shower i have a couple different methods or a couple, a couple different products that i use but of course the nivea like i said i have the big one Y'all, I did need a new one. This was upside down in the counter. So this one is actually about to be empty. So I, I should have grabbed another one of these. I knew I was going to get home and realize that I forgot something. But this is the same. It's the Nivea Essentially Enriched uh, Deep Nourishing Serum. It's with almond oil. So I use this to like definitely moisturize. But I have, like I said, a couple different products. I love the Coors. I have the Coors Body Smoothing Milk and this is also linked in, I think it's in my shower routine video, but I'll make sure to link it in this video as well. This is the Body Soothing Milk from Coors. This is a Body Butter from Coors and I have one more in my bedroom that I keep beside my bed. I use these to moisturize and then also just like a body oil. So I have a Palmer's Body Oil that I use and I keep myself moisturized. So that's pretty much like the gist of like my hygiene products one thing that i didn't get is my feminine product pads and stuff i didn't get that but i did just have a cycle i don't really need that but yeah i think that's everything i think that i covered everything with my target not having what i need i feel like it kind of just like ruined my experience a little bit but it's okay hopefully we have better experience next time but yeah, let me know how y'all like this video. But yeah, let me know what your favorite products are, what you like to use, what new products you're loving and trying and all that stuff. Let me know because your girl's always at Target, like a couple times a week for sure. Let me know and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.